This narrative predates the current era by over a century when medical science as we know it today was not yet widely employed. People used to die of ordinary diseases. Because it was not allowed to do surgeries and operations. The story starts with a quack who has depth understanding of herbs. Through this, he cures the minor illness of the people. Many people are cured by his treatment but there are some people who do not like him. They call him a magician, and they believe that he cures people by doing black magic. That's why people are cured. Because of this, neither they like him nor do they receive any treatment from him. Despite this, the quack doesn't stop and helps people as much as he can. He used to cure them and also informed them about many important things as well. How could they cure themselves after having a little effort? And if they have any disease again, they could treat them with help of many herbs on their own. One day, this quack was telling the villagers about this all. Meanwhile, we are shown a young boy whose name was Rob. He was listening to this conversation of the quack and was curious about these all things. Later, after listening to this all, he returns to his home. After he reaches home, we see that Rob's family is quite poor. He lives with his two siblings and his mother. We also learn here that his mom is quite ill. But she doesn't know which disease she has. Rob, though, has seen a decline in his mother's health tonight. As he keeps his hand on her heart, he feels quite strange. As a result, he becomes quite nervous and scared as well. Now, under these circumstances, he couldn't understand what he should do. Suddenly, he reminds him of that quack and he rushes toward him. He tells him about the unstable condition of his mother, and the quack comes with him immediately. When they return home, many villagers were already gathered at his house. They don't allow the quack to treat. As a result of this, Rob's mother's health worsens, and she dies on the spot. Now, we're informed about the disease of his mother, she had an appendix, and people were not aware of this at that time. The next day, the villagers take Rob's siblings with them as their servants. Consequently, Rob found himself abandoned or isolated due to these circumstances, and he was also quite depressed about his mom's death. For this reason, Rob decides to go with the quack, the quack also agrees because he too has no objection to this. Later, they start their journey, and we also learn that the quack has no destination or home. He sometimes lives in one village and something in the other village. Now, after going here and there, they begin to treat people. Many years have passed in this way and Rob has grown up now. And, still today he was finding the cure for the appendix. That was the reason for his mom's death. He wished for this to never happen to anyone else as it had with his mother. And he could find the cure for this disease by any means, but the quack also couldn't find a cure for this disease. He only treats people externally with the herbs, and he doesn't know the internal functioning of the body. One day, while having treatment of a man, as Rob puts his hand on his heart, he again starts to feel strange, he was feeling the same as he felt at the time of his mom's death. Because of this, he felt quite strange and he tells the quack, that I know he'll die tonight. Meanwhile, it happened the same, the man dies at night, and it's clear that Rob possesses the quality to predict death. For the first time, he felt the same for his mother. That's why he became quite scared. The quack was also shocked by his quality. Well, the villagers consider Rob and the quack responsible for the death of this man. They accuse them that he died because of their treatment. For this reason, they kick them out of their village after beating them. During this time, the quack has glaucoma in his eyes. For this reason, he couldn't see anything. And there was also no treatment for this disease at that time. Later, they learn from some people at night, that there's a doctor who is a Jew who has 100% treatment for this disease. That's why they go to the doctor and he operates the quack's eyes. Because of this, the quack could see again. That means this was a successful operation. After seeing this miracle, Rob becomes quite happy. And he asks the doctor, from where did you learn this operation? Later, the doctor tells him about a senior doctor Ibn Isina who is residing in Persia, and he has a famous hospital, besides this, he teaches medical science to people. There is no disease that he is unable to treat. After listening to this, Rob becomes quite happy, and he decides to go there for studies, so I could learn to treat the appendix. But the Jewish teacher also warns him that you to cross Egypt to go there. And the people of other religions are not allowed to pass from there. Despite this, Rob decides to go there. While going, he thanks the quack for whatever he's learned from him. And the quack also bids him farewell with a lot of prayers. Later, their paths separate, and it will take him a year to get by water to Egypt. There were many other Jews on the ship he was going on. And he goes while being a servant of them. And when they get to Egypt, several Jews teach him, how to behave, how to worship, and how to survive alone. He must therefore pray alone, as Jews do. 
Rob must now travel from Egypt to the place where Ibn Isain's hospital is. They travel the desert routes for two months to reach there. In their group, there was a girl who was quite beautiful. She was taken to Persia to be sold. On the way, they see an army that was quite cruel. Because they have completely wiped off an entire village. They find a small girl in the same village that this girl keeps with her. The child's health starts to decline while they are traveling, but Rob treats her. Rob and the girl become friends in this way. Slowly, they grow to like one another. However, a sandstorm strikes the desert as they are passing from there. That causes them to split apart. Only Rob was there as the storm came to an end. Because everyone else who was there has passed away. He now comes alone to the city where Ibn Hisina's hospital is. This city belonged to a king of the Muslims. Now, Rob gets into the hospital somehow with his messy condition. But the people beat him after seeing his condition, and he was kicked out from there. Later, when a man sees him in a state of unconscious. Then he admits Rob into the hospital. When Rob regained consciousness, he was not experiencing any pain from his wounds. So, he asks the man standing next to him, What medicine have you given me, because I was quite injured but I'm not feeling any sense of my wounds. That something had even happened to me. During the conversation, Rob tells the man that, I want to study medical science and have to learn to cure people. So, I could become a physician, or a quack, or any ordinary doctor. The next day, Rob was taken into a class, where he learned that the person with whom he had been speaking yesterday, he was none other than Ibn Isina. He teaches physics, philosophy, and many other similar things in his class. Rob finds a lot of things to learn, and he also learned about old, and famous scientists. Additionally, he becomes friends with two boys there, and Rob soon discovers that the girl he befriended is not dead but rather alive. But she is soon going to get married to an aged man. And the man was from Rob's friend's family. Rob is now quite grieved to hear of this. Soon, Rob's friend finds out that the girl and Rob like each other. Later, feeling depressed, Rob approaches a girl. But the girl wasn't well, she was ill, he later took her to the hospital so that, so he could save her life after treating her. During this, Ibn Isina also learns about his quality, that he could predict death, that when is anyone going to die. He discusses his mother's appendix with Ibn Isina. He claims, for this reason, I wish to help the poor. However, the issue was that, no human experimentation was permitted, not even in this large hospital. Because of this, Rob was quite sad and hopeless. He thinks that I've come to the other corner of the world. But I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Obviously, I couldn't learn to treat the disease that caused the death of my mom. That's why he asks questions from Ibn Isina. Why we can't see inside the body of humans. After hearing this, he tells him that in today's world, even in every religion of the world, it considers bad to cut humans' body. It implies that surgical procedures cannot be conducted in this location. Possibly, these surgeries and operations will become common in 100 or even 1000 years. But it isn't possible at this time. Now, there were three total groups, one was the group of the Muslim king. That urges the people of other religions to live with unity and love. It puts a focus on medicine and the sciences. The second group was made up of Persians, while the third group included visitors from another city. These were the cruel people who killed the whole city. But these both groups don't like the behavior of the Muslim king. According to them, he is a weak king, that's why he often has a mysterious actions. One day, a man with a deadly illness is sent to their city by the ruthless army. As a result, the sickness quickly spreads throughout their city. The rich people ran from this city in which the girl's husband was also included. The girl also became the victim of this disease while staying at home. After seeing the condition of the city, all of Ibn Hisina's students start to cure the city's poor and ailed people. Those who experience this disease, witness black spots on their body. After seeing this, Rob suggested that, we should pull out the roots of these black spots with surgery. Because no surgery was permitted, which is why it was impossible. Now, thousands of people begin to die in a while. As Rob was quite mature, so he learns that, this disease is rapidly spreading because of rats. Now, they make poison to kill the rats. As a result, all the rats of the whole city died. And the rest of the people remained unharmed. Later, people begin to cure with their medicines. The girl likewise barely escapes death. Because she had a narrow escape, when Rib notices this, he is really pleased. The condition of the whole city becomes normal like before. All the rich people who fled also return which also includes the girl's husband. A patient with an appendix eventually enters that hospital. But because he didn't get surgery, he passed away while suffering from extreme pain. However, before he passed away, 
Rob asked the man whether he would allow Rob to operate on him after his passing. And the man agrees to this. Now, this was the disease that continuously teases him. That's why he begins to operate on his body without anyone's permission. Although he was feeling quite scared, however, he proceeds to undergo a surgical procedure after making an incision on his own body. He places his heart between his hands to test its functionality. He sketches out every body part so he can refer to it later. He also learns here about the appendix that where it is exactly, and how it could be taken out. But just a few people are made aware of his action. Therefore, they take Rob and Ibn Isina to the Persian ruler. There, they are given a death sentence. Now, it was going to be difficult for the other Jews because of Rob. That's why he reveals his identity in this dangerous environment. I'm a Christian, not a Jew, so don't punish other Jews because of me, please. But no one was ready to believe this that Rob is a Christian. Because he has adapted himself according to the religion of Jews. The girl's husband also learns that Rob and the girl like each other. She is executed by being buried alive by him. Now, his Jewish friend of Rob becomes angry at Rob. You've deceived us all that you're not a Jew but a Christian. The Muslim ruler is shown getting sick at this point. Actually, he has an appendix and not any other illness. He makes Rob and Ibn Isina freed from the Persian imprisonment. Later, he informs them, this is my order, and I have given you permission to operate on me. Rob, however, feels very frightened to hear this, because he has never had surgery on an alive person. However, they have no other option besides this. Either they've to operate the king or they've to die by execution. Rob now agrees to do the operation. But in exchange for the operation, he wants something. That the girl should be freed, and the king agrees, therefore the girl is freed. For the first time, Ibn Isina, Rob, and his friends scarily begin to have king's surgery. They had to face several problems, they were quite confused. How they could have surgery on an alive person. They finally succeed in getting his appendix out. Rob seemed content and peaceful after the operation. He secretly imagines himself managing his mother. The king was also fine, so he and Rob befriend each other. But all the Persian become angry at the king. They were also angry at the king for freeing Rob and Ibn Isina and not punishing them. Persian, therefore, meets the dangerous group directly. Later, both groups attack their city after being united. Besides this, the people of the third group attack outside. As a result, chaos spreads throughout the whole city. In addition to this, they have set fire to everything. But after passing through one way, those who survived were protecting their lives. The groups set fire to the library and the only hospital. Later, we see Ibn Isina sitting in his library. Later, Rob comes to meet him for the last time, this was their last meeting. Ibn Isina gave Rob an important medical diary. He gives Rob a significant name that you are a physician, a doctor, and a quack. Ibn Isina was also very ill which makes Rob quite concerned. He leaves after taking the girl with a sad heart and without his will. He takes her back and goes back to his city. After marrying, they open their hospital. Rob tries to find his lost siblings. After a few years, the same quack from the beginning returns, but no one seeks treatment from him anymore. A boy tells him about Rob's hospital, and the quack becomes quite happy to know. Rob has opened his hospital, and he goes to meet him. They happily meet each other once again. And the film ends with this.